Hello and welcome to Thought for November the 10th. Our readings are Ezra chapter 5 and 6, Hosea chapter 7, and Acts chapters 25 and 26. And our thought is, it is hard for you. Paul is described as God's chosen vessel in Acts chapter 9 verse 15. But that does not mean he was lavish with favours by God like a father does toward his favourite son, such as Jacob did with Joseph and his coat of many colours, as Genesis 37, 3-4 describes. Paul recalls as he is given his account before King Agrippa what Jesus said to him on the road of Damascus. It is hard for you to kick against the goads. Acts 26 verse 14. And what does that mean? References to goads are common in Greek and Roman writings. If the oxen are going where the ploughman does not want them to go, there is a goad they kick against. Jesus knew Paul had a troubled conscience. He knew that a battle had been going on in his mind and he was kicking against an inner conscience every time he persecuted Christians. Part of his mind knew he was doing wrong. Do you get that feeling sometimes? I'm sure that all those who are striving to serve Jesus as their Lord experience this at times. Some might see it as terrible that God should allow Paul to be arrested and stop from further preaching and be on trial. Acts chapters 22 to 26 but it gives him opportunity to challenge, or rather, God through him, both the Jewish and Roman leaders. Notice how Paul made Felix feel uneasy when he reasoned about righteousness and self-control and the coming judgment. The text says Felix became alarmed, Acts 24 verse 25. Do we get alarmed at times? In the Old Testament, we are reading Ezra, but this book is not written by Ezra. It is really a continuation of 2 Chronicles. Ezra chapter 1 really should be 2 Chronicles 27. In tomorrow's chapter, chapter 7, Ezra, a scribe, verse 6, first comes on the scene. He is just one of a number of those returning from exile, but he stands out. Why? In verse 10 we read, For Ezra had set his heart to study the law of the Lord, and to do it, and to teach his statutes and rules in Israel. Note the three things he had set his heart to do. He impressed the Persian king, and the king gives a message to others about him. Verses 21 to 26. Ezra's reaction and appreciation is shown in verses 27 to 28. Blessed be the Lord, the God of our fathers, who puts such a thing as this into the heart of the king. I took courage. For the hand of the Lord my God was on me. Ezra too was a chosen vessel. Well, thank you once again for joining us for Thought for the Day, where together we can open up the pages of God's Word, knowing that Word to be a lamp to our feet and a light to our path.